Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video guys I am going to tell you how to control your XME Mini Elfin using your Android mobile phone. As you know guys XME Mini Elfin does not come with any exterior button on its body to control its function. So if you lose the remote control guys you will not be able to control your XME Mini Elfin. Here in this video guys I am going to tell you how to link your mobile phone and control your XME Mini Elfin using your Android mobile phone. So guys please watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share guys. Before we move further guys I have already done the unboxing of this XME Mini Elfin on my channel. If you have not seen that video I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So first thing guys that you need to do is to go into your google play store and download the google home app so this is the app that you need to download i have already downloaded the app guys that i have already been using in my home i will open the app as of now so if you have not added your xme elfin onto your google home you can always use this plus button and set up a device so guys whenever you scroll you will see the other cast devices which are available so here you see i have xme elfin already shown so i will be adding it to my one of the room as of now i have it in my Mexico home move devices I will select the room as of now it is there in my uh, hall so I will put it in the hall so this is how guys uh, you add Xime Elfin to your Google home on your Android phone next thing that you need to do here is load the devices you can see here guys you can uh, change the ambient mode you can show the weather settings whenever it is uh, idle in uh, centigrade you can time personalize the photos show the pairs all the albums and the slideshow speed that you can control and you can always use your google photos art galleries or any experimental source content that you want to show when your xme elfin is idle that you can do it from here also here you can have at the bottom you can see you have cast my screen so you can cast the screen of your mobile phone onto your xme elfin directly from here so as you can see guys my xme elfin as of now is available here in the home section i will click again so you can see guys here i get another option to open the remote control at the bottom so i will click on remote control so it will ask me to put the code which is available on your xme elfin so once you have turned your xme elfin on your xme elfin will be showing the pairing request code on the screen like i'm going to show you now as you can see guys on the screen of my xme elfin projector the code is shown i will type the same code on my mobile phone to pair it so guys i'm going to type the code here exactly same as what is shown on the screen now i will click on pair so you see guys my phone is now connected and can be worked as your remote control on to your xme elfin i don't need my remote control to control my xme elfin so guys you can see the remote control is already connected you have the swipe pad here so here you can using this swipe pad you can scroll across the menu option which you have on the android tv you have the back button you have the home button you have the google assistant that you can use to search or navigate the content using the google assistant you have the mute button you have volume up and volume down button here you can see guys instead of swipe pad you can change into the d-pad control so you can have the navigation very similar to what you have on the remote control back and forward top and bottom and select option and then you can always go on home as you can see guys there is a power button on the top here just to let you know guys you can always turn off your xtme mini projector using this power control but you cannot turn it on so you need to turn on using the physical button which is there on the back side of your xtme mini projector so even if you lost your uh, remote control you can always turn it on using the physical button which is there on the back side of xtme mini projector and then you can always uh, control your xtme mini projector navigations using these menu options also you have fine 
tune of the control of the focus at the bottom of the XME mini controller but those option is already there in the navigation menu on your screen so guys this is it uh, this is how you pair your remote control and control your menus i will show on the screen i will show on the navigation on the screen that what you can do and what you cannot do using this uh, android remote control so now i will move on to the screen so now i am showing the screen guys uh, so i will be using the top and bottom menu option top and bottom toggle option that is there on my menu right and left and the center button to play so it will open the youtube and it will start playing the video that i have selected i have pushed on to the ok button which is there in the center i will try and use the volume button on the top and volume down button mute button that will mute the audio of the video now i will put the home button so this is guys how you select all the options if you want to go into the settings you can always navigate to the settings so here guys uh, you have projector settings available you can always have the keystone correction focus settings which is there in the menu which like i told you guys even if you do not use your remote control these are the options which is already present on the menu so you can always use these from the menu option which is present on to the projector settings so this is it guys this is how you pair your android mobile phone onto your xtv mini projector and control all the functions i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer it as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies